to Good Day Dakota. Now, October just started and it's a very important month for a lot of different reasons, and one of which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I'm joined today by Dr. Karen Rampton, and thank you so much for joining us here. She's from Sanford Health, and she specializes in breast radiology. So um, let's get into it right away here and talk about um, how many men and women are, how, how common is it for them to be affected by breast cancer? Well, breast cancer is very common. It's uh, one in eight women. Um, and it, men aren't excluded either, mm -hmm. especially men with uh, genetic predispositions, such as a BRCA mutation. Um, but of course, it's most common in women. And um, the most important thing that we can do to, to help combat breast cancer is to get early screening. So mm -hmm. starting at age 40 and then screening every year afterwards has been shown to be the most helpful in reducing the, de the deaths by breast cancer. Absolutely, so the age of 40 and probably earlier if you have other, other factors weighing in and if you're doing uh, your self exams, how important are those? Um, well, to go back to the other factors, so women who are at high risk um, kind of fall into a different category. So. Mm -hmm depending on um, whether they have a gene mutation or um, a strong family history of breast cancer or other things such as chest radiation when they were young. Um, those women with an elevated risk over 20% of their lifetime would qualify for a screening breast MRI each year in addition to their mammograms. Uh, we typically say that the mammogram should start 10 years prior to the, the most recent um, incidence. So okay. if a patient's mother had breast cancer at age 40, then the woman would want to start at age 30. Okay, and uh, there's a lot of different uh, ways to screen for it, and it, 2D mammography was the more common, and now there's mm -hmm. a new, um, a newer version, the 3D mammography. How is that different? Yeah, so 3D mammography is, um, is better. It mm -hmm. helps us detect smaller um, cancers, more cancers, and it helps decrease the callback rate. Mm -hmm. So that means that there's fewer false positives. Um, so overall, it's a much better test, especially for women that are young or that have dense breast tissue. Okay, great to know. And there's a walk coming up. There are a couple of events. You were talking about the day prior to the Edith Sanford Run Walk. That's October 13th. I think we have a graphic here to tell you about that event. That's Saturday, October 13th to, uh, you know, raise, raise awareness for breast yep. cancer. Mm -hmm. And, and then raise money for the Edith Sanford um, yes. Fund. Yeah, so it's a great walk to take to take part in there. And the day before, you said there's another event? Yeah, the day before, there's something called the Revive Retreat, which Sanford is putting on, um, and it's for breast cancer survivors. Um, it'll be a panel of uh, physicians, myself included, and um, some oncologists, surgeons, and then just the whole day is helping women who've had breast cancer to... Um, to move on. That's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And you can ch t check out our website. It's myndnow.com. We will have a link to all of this information about the Edith Sanford Run Walk as, and, and as well as what we've been talking about here. So thank you so much for joining us. And Tim? Thank you both.